Yo, welcome in everybody. If you are clicking on this video, that means you are watching the S2 tournaments. I'm Sick Plays DVD, the owner and uh, host of S2 tournaments. I just quickly wanted to make this intro for anybody that is interested uh, of being a staff member, if that's from casting, refing, or being a moderator, or as a team uh, captain, or somebody that's looking to start a team in competitive Dead by Daylight, S2 Tournament is the place for you. We're all about giving chances to people that are willing to learn and give new teams a chance to be able to play in our scrims that we also do stream on Twitch. For a link for our Discord, it's down in the description below. And um, any of our social medias, you can check our link tree. We're all about trying to inspire the world and change people's lives. And if you guys are interested in wanting to help out, even if you have no experience, as long as you're willing to learn, then you have a spot here. All you have to do is just fill out the staff application or sign your team up if you want to play. And I hope everybody enjoys yourself. And if you do like the videos, make sure to drop a follow and uh, like on the video. It does help out with us and the algorithm. I do appreciate everybody, and I hope you guys have a great day. Alrighty, welcome in everybody. We are starting this matchup. We have Nostalgia versus Ascension. I'll be co-casting with uh, the one and only Draxy. And right now, it is the beginning of the game, so not much is going on. But nonetheless, I'm excited for this. We're seeing Force Pennants come in here. Uh, I feel like that's really common on the twin set. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I do see it uh, quite often. Uh, Draxy, with these two teams, what's your predictions with these twin sets? You know how they're played out. Um, I definitely want to say I've seen Nostalgia play a little bit more recent. Their um, killer player seems to be a very aggressive um, Twins player, and I'm very excited to see how this plays out. And I think Twins is going to be a fun, interesting pick. Um, ARP is a very common and good map for her. Yeah, and right now we're just uh, checking out the survivors, and one already being caught. That's going to be Dwight. CC looks like to have got caught out of position a little bit, but going to be on the bottom side. Or I don't know, is this top right technically? Or bottom. Yes, yeah, it's okay. It's top. So, yeah, they're going to be at the bottom of top. <laughs> and, uh, okay, nonetheless, let's see what the killer is up to. Oh, Pluto, we just saw that survivor. I think that was, um, who was that? Was that Papa? I think so. He, We saw the aura from um, Empath Empathic, and he was able to cross down. We know there's two wow. top. I want to say that was really good from the survivors to be able to cross down that early. I don't think our killer here knows that the survivors have made their way down to the bottom into the open generators. Yeah, because that's what I was. I explained that to everybody here with the choke point that we have. Uh, killers love to defend that and make sure that no survivors are able to uh, move to the side that are uncorrupted and without getting punished. And that's how Pluto was started off. And we have two survivors injured, so they need to be careful. And now it looks like Pluto is going to commit to the chase for um, on CC here. And just try to get this first down as quick as possible. And already, Force Pin is coming in as well, too, which is crazy. Because uh, Victor was hit on Ouchie, it looks like. Oh, um, see. yes. The... Ah! Oh. <laughs> I think it caught me off guard. I'm bolting back into him. Um, what's happening right now is the Twins player was trying to force him down the map into the active generators. Because he didn't expect there to be a lot of progress down here. But the survivors crossing the enemy is going to make it a little bit more difficult to hold this first gen bottom. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that we didn't see a pain res hook coming in. Maybe they decided just to save it for later. And now we're going to be seeing another chase happening towards the top side. And doesn't quite get the... That that was close. It looked like it was, it was going to, but... Pluto, nonetheless, is just trying to get as much value out of Victor as we get hit now. And we're going to be checking out the hook. Here's a generator being progressed right here. You know that pain res wasn't used. I wonder... Um, he doesn't think there's a lot of progress on here. Maybe that one gen, but as we're finding out now that this generator by Crane is almost done as well. So trying to hold this generator, uh, generator four or this four gen bottom is going to be very difficult, actually. Trying to prevent any of these gens to pop. Yeah, because I feel like the agitation play, like with that, you want to get the hook set, you want to get the survivor hooked in an area where you can patrol a three gen and not allow them just to get free pressure because if they can split it up, as you can see, like they could leave that, uh, the, the gen that's right there in front of, you know, uh, main, um, and really split it up to where the killer has no, uh, choice but to, uh, commit to chases. Like, you know, there's no way that they can defend the generators. And it looks like Steve's gonna be going for the onhook, almost, uh, almost hitting second stage, but not quite yet. But now it's up to Dwight to be able to take this chase and make it last long enough to where, he doesn't get down quickly and maybe even get the pickup on the down survivor right now and going straight to Shaq and just a little bit longer until now Victor can be used. So we should see him coming out any second. Oh, this is we getting... Saw, oh, everybody's already injured. We just saw bounce on anything. Dwight, this could be a really bad situation to be in. Being the survivors, um, 
This could end up turning into a really bad slow fest because of them all being injured. Victor just has so much map pressure with speed and with two killers pretty much. It's just, it can be very difficult. Okay, now is with the, uh, Dwight going down. Let's see what the other survivors are doing. So we do have two re reset. And right now, Steve can't be healed yet because of forced penance. And is the killer going to be able to take advantage of that? Oh, no. So they decide, Pluto decides just to go pick up Dwight and get the second hook state already. That's not a bad choice. But now it's going to be if they're able to get back to Steve and get um, get him before uh, Forest Penance goes away and they can get the heal off. So some of the pressure has been taken away. This generator that is basically 99 is going to get kicked. It's going to regress a little bit. Obviously, uh, we'll stop it soon enough, but still time being wasted nonetheless. And right now, if Pluto is able to find the Steve out and about, this could actually be very good for him. That's the best bet. A, a healthy survivor, yeah, it's going to be pressure. And that's what they're actually going to have to go for here now that they found him. And I don't think anybody's rotating in for the unhook. They cannot actually... Wait. Did... Did they recall Victor instantly? Um... I think she switched. They switched? I don't know. Well, he, he just hit half. I think we just saw the twins bug of Victor being recalled instantly, actually. Alright, let's keep so tracking that. There, there is a bug with twins that can happen sometimes where Victor can instantly be recalled. I'm pretty sure that's what we just saw here, which can definitely change the dynamic of the game and create really easy pressure for the killer. I also want to say is we also still haven't seen a pain on Dwight, so I think RNG has played a huge effect in this game, and for I think all her pain roses are topside. Okay, now this is the real question. And we do see uh, the, uh, the death coming in. Wow, interesting. Now the so, pops are coming. Which is really good for the survivors. Uh, I want to say maybe because of that bug, um, Felix was not able to play for the save of Dwight because of Victor and being injured. I wonder if that would have made a really big difference. Yeah, for sure. I see exactly what you mean. Okay, yeah, generators are really about to should be popping. We do see the first stack of pain res finally coming through, so I think my theory might be right to where all the pain reses might be on the top side. Yeah, and that's actually unfortunate, unless obviously you're taking chases there, and we see the Felix. Oh, not quite able Ooh. to get into the locker just yet, and that's going to be unfortunate. That would have been a great dodge. That is very unlucky for Felix there. It is all up to our sassy Steve. And we hear him, and unfortunately, we have found Steve. And oh, it looks no. this gate. All the sprinters, it looked like. But the killer, killer right now has all the pressure. The zones in the correct way, and now looks like this is gonna be game over. A 4K at four? That's insane. They had a lot of pressure on generators. We've seen, um, like, uh, mu like you know, multiple generators ready to pop too as well. Like, I, they, I think they probably had close to three being ready to be done. Which is, yeah, which is unfortunate. I think at the very beginning, what do I, I think trying to keep Chase out because they know they have a lot of pressure down bottom when. Um, Dwight had his very first chase, trying to keep it away from his active gens. I think dying in the right spot is very important against twins because having Agi allowed, you just want to make sure you create a lot of pressure across the map and allow your team just to be able to rotate safely. Right, 100%. And like, as you can see right now, the, 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 when you play the twins correctly, uh, the amount of pressure that you can put on survivors is can be really big. Uh, and def uh, is definitely a great matchup right there. And we saw Force Pinnas actually come into play a little bit. It wasn't too much value, but we still saw it nonetheless. Uh, they, you know, they couldn't reset Steve, so they had to actually let him stay injured for a little bit longer. So that's uh, uh, that was really interesting to see, too, that, that, that come in play. Yeah, it, it allowed Steve not to be saved, and it also allowed um, Dwight to end up dying on hood because um, Tap gave a tag at um, topside and Felix got caught out rotating. So that means just one less person rotating for that save on Dwight, which made a huge difference in this trial. I agree 100%. I think we just need to put on some elevator music while we wait for the last survivor to go second. <laughs>
It actually takes a long time, man. It actually does. There we go. Now we'll finally get it. Yay. All right, we're going to check the belt out real quick, and we'll be right back with the, uh, the next match of the setup. Alrighty, welcome everybody back. We're gonna be running this back. We had a twins bug and it did affect the game, so we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna make teams reset and hopefully we don't get the same thing that happens. Uh, it is unfortunate when it does happen, but nonetheless, we are back here. We did see Pluto do great uh, last game. N you know, nonetheless, it would have been a great result either way. But so it's gonna be another rerun. So he's already warmed up, knows what to expect, saw what worked in the first game too. So he does have that advantage a little bit too to know exactly like what the survivors are gonna play like and whatnot. So there, that is good to see. And already catching Dwight out in very top right side of it already. That's a very good start. Honestly, it's the same exact start that we just had. We yeah, same literally. exact person got tagged, and we actually catch rotate this time. I I actually want to say for this reset, it's looking really good because he has a really strong bottom side generator hold. He has four generators boss side, and I think C might be giving an early tag here. Not quite, but it's got Bloodlust 1, so they're going to be able to make distance. It does go away, obviously, with the stun. You thought they would have gotten it with Bloodlust 1, but not quite. And now Steve's going to be making his way towards Shaq, and we got Victor out. Going to get a pounce. See if it hits. It does. He does have Shaq to work with. Pluto deciding to kick this pilot, making it weak. This the side, I guess, weaker. Let's see what the survivors are up to at this moment. Okay, we got some pro gem progression there. We got the reset on Dwight. And Steve's still having Victor. Okay, not a bad start. Oh, this is a lot, I think a lot stronger start for our killer here just because he has Steve down in these generators, which can be very problematic. But as we saw last game, last set, um, being in the forge is rough. Okay, let's see if Pluto's able to win these mind games and make this happen. Bloodlust will be kicking in just a second. Oh, he's able to win it too, and Bloodlust did pop up at the last second. So it's going to be a very good down, and now going to be able to send Victor out and even apply more pressure to the survivors if they are working on the generator over here. We did see a little bit of progression. Now, obviously, Krupp's gone, trying to find the survivor, and they do. Very nice find there for Pluto, and very quick too, nonetheless. So going to be able to go back and pick up Steve almost instantly too. So that was a great uh, use of Victor now back to putting the pressure up and getting some points on the board. And again, we do not see another. We do not see a pain res boss side. I wonder if that's intent or if that was intentional to ignore a pain res down here because the thought of no progress. Yeah, um, it could be, or maybe just saving it. I, I don't know, but yeah, definitely, it's the same. Like just as before, like you said, no pain res being used, and still no generators have popped. I would assume, yes, a lot of progression. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I thought we were gonna see another down, but it was just wants to take that force penance. And I think we just saw the other survivor now also injured already. And we have one on the hook. They got to be careful, not allow this pressure to come. All three, all three survivors are the top side right now. He know he can just hold this. And Steve's now just regret, should go to second here just freely. Yeah, We're okay, I see what you mean. Yep. Back. They will not be able to get past her without her seeing, yeah, without Pluto seeing them. So you're right. Oh, wait. There, there is a chance here for 4k5 i want to i i'm gonna be fully serious um with how this game is playing out this could just be a better result let's see right now we see the felix okay the decides not to they got saved before second that is actually really huge if they didn't get that save over second they would have been a very oh. unfavorable position that is actually really good they needed that Okay, now Shaq's gonna be going down. We'll be gonna take him down. Now, Felix trying to push away, go top side as much as he can. Our that's it. I think that's what our killer wants is for all survivors top side, so he can try to play for a slide fest here. Yep, and going towards Papa right now, and yep, here comes Victor out. And there goes down. And we we know that they were just right by too, so let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. That was weird for a second. That... And another down. Awesome. That's really good. Yep. We do know Steve rotated down, but right now that means only one generator is going to be able to be pushed. But I do think we'll see a generator pop bottom side because of the 
Getting rid of that progress earlier. Oh, that would have been we insane. Are. We do no taps around here. We just gotta find him. Okay, deciding to pick up. No pain res. We do know this is the only He knows that this is the only other generator that had progress and not often a waste of pain res yet. And the if fast hook as well too. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was actually, did you see that? He jumped in the locker and it showed a like, uh, that was uh, funny. I've actually never uh, seen that exact animation. They just said my locker now. We do see Dwight being unhooked. Um, I don't know what the game plan is for them to move bottom. It does look like it. I think we are ignoring Dwight for the saver. Let's we see what happens. Tap. If you can get the injured on tap here, I think that actually be very beneficial because that means then all survivors again are injured and we can play for um, another slug. And already getting the pounds. Let's see. We see that that gen is starting to be over a little bit over halfway now. A reset does come in. Okay, they're going to be resetting that shack. Okay. I think the survivors are definitely playing this be uh, better, but at the same time, it's been really risky playing into all the injuries. Right, because of the pressure and like the amount of time you're off generators. Oh, dude, does get it too. Nice. I, I think option for a pit here would be the right play. Kind of slow down some of the pressure they have if they have any pressure on bottom side. If you're thinking it's killer, I think Pluto here should opt for. I think we should see. No, still no pit res. And we do see another generated pop bot side. I think as the twins play, you ho you're playing for this three gen top side now since they have broken your four gen bottom. I still think if they if. Our killer here was able to force Steve second. This game probably be highly in their favor. Yeah, I agree. And right now we're getting another injury coming in. Let's see. Okay. We do see Steve crossing for save. Let's see how he plays it. Still not injured, which is great for them. They, they got two survivors currently full, fully healthy. Ooh, they got rid of Victor already. That means we do know where one of the survivors are. And it looks like we have Steve and Dwight up here actually playing for the save. And it looks like they will be getting that save. They're doing a really good job making sure that they're pressuring save and pressuring generators really well. Yeah, correctly. I agree with you 100%. Okay, Dwight does get hit now. Okay, see, hey, we got probably, some progression right there, too. We're probably going to be seeing um, the Twins killer here, Pluto, trying to play for slugs. I think that's the right play. Should Dwight should be going down. Okay, nope, it does have a filler. Gets it out of the way. Really good stun. Yeah, that was a really good stun for sure. And now it's going to be up to him to make this chase last. Very unfortunate for this dude. Getting cut on the window there. Um, if you are Ascension here, I think you should be trying to play for resets as much as possible. Um, that should be what they're trying to do, but we do hear um, some generator progress behind main. And I think we do see them opting to finally start resetting. And let's see if that's what the survivors are gonna do now as, as we switch over. No, we got one of them on a generator. Next one in Shaq. And the one in Inside of a locker now, too. Okay, so the only survivor that wasn't injured was able to take Victor, so that's good now. But all survivors are injured, and Steve is going to be going down. There we go. That's one down, and we know that, that Felix is right around the corner, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's actually really good for the survivors to try to keep the attention oh. of... Oh, we get Unbreakable against Twins. Is that actually kind of insane? That is such a strong perk for... A killer who kind of relies on slugging sometimes. Right, right. We do see a full reset on Steve. I think here the killer um, 
Should try to, I still say, offer a pain to stop any pressure on main. Do the, will this be pain res? The first one used at the trial. Yep. And it will be. 20% off of main generator and the survivors just try to keep him down here. If they can break that top side three gen, that's just beautiful for them. Oh, nice. And got the pallet down too. What a play there. That's really good for Pluto. Now let's see how they're going to respond. We see scratch marks. They're going to come find for this. Oh, nope. Never mind. The saves, the hooks over there. I couldn't tell. Um, see, I think Sebra here is making actually a really good decision trying to keep him bottom side. You need to break that top side 3 gen and kind of waste the killer's time. 100%. And now Pluto's about to get back Victor in just a moment. And the unhook does come. Oh, it doesn't quite get it, but Bloodless 1 coming in, so Steve should be taking a hit anytime soon as the force generator does pop. Really good 50 50 plays. Oh, and another swing miss, but Bloodlust 2 now. Honestly, really well played by yeah, Steve. Yeah, that was great. And, and the survivors put it right. We saw main pop, so we do know that a lot of the gen pressure right now is looking really favorable for our serves here. Yeah, 100%. Uh, that was actually really good. He wasted so much time on just that small loop. Unlike last game where we saw Dwight out of the game really early, them being able to prevent a tunnel out this early is huge and creating so much pressure on Pluto this time. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. This has been a great result though from the survivors. They definitely came back and did a great job here. We still have one generator up, so with, you know we're not done yet, but nonetheless, the pressure is on them. They, we'll see, okay, we, we do have one of them right by the killer. It looks like Steve's trying to rotate in and try to get the pick up. They're all trying to be careful. They have no idea where Victor's at yet. They gotta be w careful of that. He's being caught out. That means we might see a two-man slide down here at bottom. Okay, there's the first one. Yep, there's two-man slug right now. Well, I just need to be really careful because the slugs are right next to each other, right next to her. And honestly, if he can catch this reset, this could be insanely good for Pluto. Oh yeah, they're in main right now, and he's getting closer and closer. Okay, just deciding what to go for the pickup now and get the pressure. I think that's a choice. Like, if you don't know where, like, the survivors are at, right? Oh, wait. Okay, Ouchie does get picked up. Unbreakable, I'm pretty sure, because we know both survivors are topside. It had to be. Yeah, it was. It's going to be another points on the board. Unfortunately for Pluto, that Unbreakable, I think, just caught, just lost so much pressure. There's not really much he can do because of uh, just he being able to pick himself up and... Oh, wait, she saw this all scratch marks. Through. They know that Steve's there, but yeah, you are correct, but now we're over here. And now they know where Steve is at. All I gotta do is just... Let's see, what, what's the play here? Okay. He's able to hold Steve over away from hook and we might end up actually seeing Dwight's death unless we see tap, um tap trying to come down for the save that means kind of gen pressure is happening yeah, yeah right, right now. now yeah there's none so this is actually going great for pluto now they, they still could be a 4k1 here i think it's possible as yeah. long as he's able to stop it or find tap early yeah especially because the survivors aren't on generators right now this is not good as steve i mean dwight yeah they decided now to get on gens Dwight, yeah, we will be seeing Dwight expire from the trial. Okay, let's see how we continue going on now that it's a 3v1. Two survivors are injured. The goal is to get Felix down here before he can hop into a locker. I don't know what to say. This is exciting. It's very. Yes, I'm just Ooh. watching. I don't. I, yeah. Oh no, not good. That sucks. That's really Pluto. good. But the, right there, still, we got Felix right here. So at least there's like, we got a survivor to chase that's injured. If, if you're Ascension here, I I would honestly be trying to play for Hap working on a bot side generator, try to keep his attention all the way up here, get that free generator pressure down by Shaq. And they are. 
Survivor, these two survivors are really good being injured and holding chases and not. Oh, nice prediction from Pudo. Though. That was an area where he had to get that correctly, so that. Like, but yeah, and Steve bit for it, so now a very quick down. Let's see. You can tell the killer actually has pretty decent game sense because they know they haven't checked on this gen in a while, and it's important to come down here. If you can put Victor on top, then the tap can't work the generator for free, and we know Felix was up here, so. And we hear him. Yep, that's great. And opting in to just kick the pallet and try to get him down as quick as possible. Yeah. And we have, we know, so like no gym progression being worked on right now. Oh, doesn't get him the bite for it yet. Felix doing a good job running this. And they, they were able to break chase too. We also know Seep as killer. We also know that Seep has also burned oh. through UB. And we got the mine again this time. That means all we have to do is find tap on bottom and this game. Yeah, and I, even if um even if they go for like uh the Steve that's down, it doesn't matter because they'll get them down and then just go straight for him. Let's see. What's the play here? I think he's just gonna hook and hold cross here. I don't know. We're about to see. Let's see what the survivors are doing. Okay, yep. We saw tap just. Yeah, he's definitely not on the generator. I don't think he can afford. He needs to be able to try to help find Steve and get Steve up. App has to play this almost perfect without getting caught on the rotate up. Yeah, this is definitely going to be hard. I thought your killer player played this really well, bringing it back because survivors did create a whole bunch of pressure. Yeah, they were just able to capitalize on that. That mind game that with the Felix was really good there. You got to admit that because um, if not, that would have been really hard for them to get, you know, Pluto to get Felix there, but was able to make something happen. I wonder if Tap Wow, look at them gins. That's a lot of, oh my goodness. I wonder if Tap will be able to try to play and get the sieve up. Steve it. Oh, yeah, he's actually opting to play for a door and hatch here, actually. Okay, that's going to be the play. Because there's no way he's able to cross up safely being injured and the killer being able to hold cross. Yeah, 100%. They played, Pluto played as well, though. Both sides did good, this, and, and, you know, nonetheless. But it's going to be interesting to see how now Nostalgia is going to play on the survivor side of this. You just gotta get Steve up on that hook, and then... You, you know what he could do? If, I don't know about Victor's collision, but what if he puts Victor... Like, the killer should know where Hatch is, right? What right. if he plays Victor on Hatch, or puts him in front of the door here, and then puts or Charlotte on Hatch? Well, uh, that'd be... I don't know how, if that would work, but I see what you mean, though. It depends on his collision, so... Yeah, I don't know too much about Twin Collision while they're in other forms. We do know Tap's injured, so he's just gonna listen. I wonder if Steve is just trying to try to go next. We'll see. We'll see if they're able to get this. It looks like he's gonna go put Victor up on top side door. And then guard the other door. Well, we'll have to drop the hatch and then, yeah, guard the other door. Yeah, that's exactly what is going about to happen. Unfortunately, with twins, you can play very safe with doors and hatch and prevent either of them coming out. And okay, there's the kill there. I want to say very good job to our killer play here. Unfortunately, it's on a 4K4, but they still had a really good result, which is just strong. And now I can just go back and forth between doors, and I, it's in, it's impossible for our survivor to be getting out here. I want to oh. say. Yeah, it is. They tried it though, and that's all that matters, right? And that will be a 4K1. If you survive, if you're the survivor team here in the situation you gotta be very happy that it's on a 4k4 and that means there's a high chance you can still bring it back and win this yeah i agree with you 100 we're gonna be checking out the builds real quick and then we'll be getting set up with this matchup
And then, yeah. Definitely gonna be interesting to see how they, uh, when we flip things around, how it's gonna be played out. Alrighty, welcome in, everybody. We are getting set up now with our official second match of this with now Ascension killing against Nostalgia Survivors. And Luba is going to be the killer now, and we're going to be seeing basically the same setup with a little bit of a different uh, perk with leverage being used in here. It's not going to be, uh, let's see, that's going to be interesting to see how that's going to pan out as uh, it does stop you from getting heals for like the first, I think, what is it, like 30 seconds? I don't remember. Yes, yeah, first 30 seconds of an unhook. That person will not be able to heal anybody quickly. Okay, and right now, checking around. We did find Nancy. Oh, unfortunate. Let's see how they continue. Luba is going to decide. They probably thought that Survivor was going to use that time to sneak around, and they did. And she, they see scratch marks there. And now pushing on bottom side, going towards Shaq, it looks like. And, yep, now we find the Claudette. Ludo, the Twins player from last game. I am interested to see how Leverage really plays out in this scenario. To be honest. Yeah, because uh, Nostalgia did a great job on Killer from both like, results, you know, that we had, even though, like, the first one doesn't count, obviously. But nonetheless, like, they, they did a great job, and we'll see if, um, yeah, like you said, they're going to be able to do something, um, like, the same result here on Survivor side. Um, yeah, I was going to say, for with leverage, it's a more hook type um, perk, so you want to hook as much as you can. Oh. And be able to just create pressure with um, preventing unhooking and healing. And I don't know how much value you'll realistically get on a big map like this with it. Well, let's see what Luba does get out of it. And you are right; it is a you have to hook them for sure. That's definitely a hooking style. And corrupt intervention uh, officially about to go down in just a moment. There we go. Now it's going to be off to Luba. All the gens can be worked on now. It, Pluto here has to play kind of really safe. You don't want to give a free down in these gens. It's a good... It's more like a 3-1-3 split instead of a 4-3 split, which is good for the survivors. Play an ass Pluto here, though. You want to be careful not to give a free down here and be able to play around. Just play really safe overall, and Luba needs to try to find Claude and create that pressure as well yeah i agree with you 100 percent they just need to be able to get all four uh five generators popped and and that'd be the win con there and let's see right now we see that the killer instinct too as well and we got nancy jeffy working on a gen two as freeze is going to be taking chase now nope not quite yet they're taking him to top side lube is going to go for it trying to get the first uh what official down i would say and hook in the game we definitely yeah. do need to see that. Hey, he's just playing, as we saw in the small filler pilot, he's playing really well with his pathing and playing that 50 50 really well. I'm really excited to see if Ace can keep playing good, but it looks like his time is no longer allowed to be here. Yep, and now we are officially seeing the first down. It, uh, you know, not too, too long, but not the quickest down that you would like to see. But still, nonetheless, we still have pain res. And like you said, with leverage coming in, it will be very hard for the survivors to uh, be able to get reset. Um, and there we go. And that is the first stack of pain res being used. And we hear this gen getting close to being popped, too. Is that the one that was hit with it? Yes, okay. Let's uh, say if not, then we got some trouble. Honestly, a lot different, kind of more aggressive. To be honest, with the pain res, unlike what we saw with Pluto, who kind of saved his pain res for endgame. Yeah, he could have probably got a better result, too, knowing that, like, he did save him, like you said, for in-game. It, it could have been a 4K2, which would have been a better result. But, like, I mean, and nonetheless, though, 4K1, good. That, you know, it's a, a good result that anybody would want. And now Claudette taking Chase Pluto. Let's see what they do. We saw them on Killer. Now it's time for Survivor, but not right now. Luba's deciding to leave and check up. And we see that generator pop. That's going to be the first one for the Survivors. Okay, they got to continue putting pressure in if they want to win this. And now it's comes Victor. Very interesting that he opted to let the unhook come for free and in the free gym. Um, if you're Nancy here, die on this corner is really well done, I want to say, because now he has to worry about Nancy while on the opposite side of the map while the three gen is being worked on. 
or get the reset possible too. Yeah, so I see exactly what you mean by like uh, where the survivors go down at and like, you know, is very important. Ooh, I think this Laura has mis kind of misjudged her distance and I think we are pulling up. Oh, oh, talk about perfect time. Wow. That was... That was literally last second. We're going to be seeing another generator popping too. And they're, Wait, they will get... Oh. Can you go back to Nancy real quick? He is our unbreakable Wait. tenacity. So you're down in the wrong survivor in the corner. But, I mean, they still get to pick up. They're going to save it for later, I would assume. That's what I'm assuming. But if Nancy wanted to, she's had jackpot to play all. So she could have really... She could have created a lot of pressure just by picking herself up. Yeah, especially if she would have got away to where the killer couldn't find her. But we'll see. That is the second stack of pain rest. So more pressure being applied to the survivors now. Um, and another fresh hook. No progression on that gym whatsoever. So we'll probably not see Luba go over there for a little bit. They, they will check eventually, but that is good indicator. And an extra 10% knocked off that generator. That does suck when as soon as you get off, you get hit with a skill check. But Luba's not going to complain and just going to completely ignore them. Oh, there we go, and sees Claudette rotating in. Really good time to come out of Victor, but the problem right now, ooh, really well done actually by our killer here. The problem is you don't have Victor trying to play for the chase. Oh, it takes a hit. Really good by Nancy. We are playing M1 right now because Victor, oh, but I think they kicked Victor actually, so that means Nancy's chase might not last very long here. No, decides to leave. Oh, fakes it, maybe? Maybe thinking that Nancy was going to get herself out of position a little bit, maybe? Um... Okay, we. I think we saw where Nancy went, yep. The really good thing for survivors. I think having that middle gen pops so and now all nance has to do is stay down here while they work both the top side gens this is like a really good for nostalgia and at least it's a lot of pressure being created here i agree 100 percent let's see how they continue going on though i don't think Lo um Loba has a choice except to let nancy go here but it looks like he's gonna be crossing upside Top side of victory, as long as the survivors here play around lockers, it's just gonna be really difficult for Victor to create any real pressure. But we do catch Ace out of position. And we do see somebody, we see our Claudette again, just playing really aggressive for this unhook, keeping her down here while they're able just to work on gens safely, pretty much. As we see another gen pop, Ace and Lara probably just gonna double gen up top, and not much our killer can do to prevent it. Yeah, 100%. They did a great job of being able to distract the killer and get, like, you know, like, what they wanted off of them. And now that's going to be, like, only one gen left with this. And it's going to be very important how the killer plays from here. And not able to get it. They're going to be able to vault back and get the kick. And Shaq Pilot's still up. They're definitely going to want to secure this hook. So that's going to be giving the survivors even more time to get the generators done. And they might just come for a last second on hook, too, Pluto. That's up to Pluto to decide right now what's the choice. And that looks like it might be it, but it might be a little bit too late. I think it is. And that will be the kill. I think we'll be, end up seeing uh, the generator on the top side popping here in a few seconds, honestly. Yup, and you did pred uh, predict it correctly. Oh, and was able to get that. Nonetheless, I mean, that's good. The crouching from Pluto. Very, very excited, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yes. And try to keep the killer on them. Let's say. Honestly, really well played by Nostalgia. Even with the reset, they played really well. Let's and we got see. some Nodders back for the tea bags. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not to spin the rounds. <laughs> Only if the killer knew that they were just starting to work on the door. Okay, so they're just going to be taking basement. Unfortunately, I don't think they could have really done anything to prevent door from right, right, right. No, no, for sure, for sure. Uh, definitely, and they, at least for, um, yeah, that was a fresh hook, but nonetheless, they got the wing con, so it doesn't matter, but... Both teams doing a great job, and now Ascension will be killing uh, again first on the second, uh, the second set now. 
really this. well done by Nostalgia here, taking the first sight even with the reset. Exactly, that was really good. For sure, I agree with you 100%. And now let's check out the builds and we'll be getting set up with our second set in just a moment. Welcome back, everybody, as we are officially starting our second set. And now Luba killing again for Ascension. And we have Plague. Uh, Draxy, what's your predictions for this match, knowing that, you know, Ascension needs to win this one and, uh, you know, not to get too old swept? Um, you're really just trying to... You're trying to make sure you have a high result. Play can play this very well. I would honestly say trying to 4K, trying to get early tunnel out, and I don't think running in tires might help with that tunnel out, but trying to get somebody out of the trial as fast as possible so you can camp a 3 gen, a 4 gen is kind of ideal in this situation. Okay, okay, so we'll see how Luba does it. Now they do get to play killer right after the, you know, just getting done with that uh, the twin set, so, you know, now. They're going to be able to get the win con, make it easier for their survivors like coming in if they have a good result, which is always key. And not quite able to get the affection to go, go on to Pluto yet, so... But it is going to happen in just a second. And actually decides to hit and then try to go for the... And still corrupt intervention over halfway gone now. And we are seeing our we first injury. We see almost the same exact build um, as they ran on Twins, except we see Eruption this time kind of... Kind of playing more um, a gen regression type build to prevent people from being able to work on gens as fast. We do hear a lot of progress on this generator, which means survivors are just trying to crank generators and break any potential 3 gen. Okay, we'll, we'll continue going on. Luba was able to get the infection and injury on Pluto now and going back towards top side. And we see Pluto there. Now, we know that Ace is working on the generator that was puked on. So, let's see. Breaks the door in main. And now, the chase, it seems, is going to be back onto Pluto. Let's see how they continue uh, doing this now. As we saw from last game, Pluto seemed like they were a very strong looper. And could really buy a lot of time here if they play really well. Yeah, and that is key. Like, is, like, having one of those good chases. Especially, like, make, you know, like, the more you can have, like, great loops come, you know, come in and be, like, you know, looping them together is really great. And we've seen the 99 sprint burst. Wow, nice. Ooh. That was actually really good. Able to make it the fun buses because of that, too. And now, here comes the mind game. Gonna have to be careful. I think they were able to see the red stain there and decides to keep W King, which was a great call there from Pluto. Able to make it back to the pallet. No, actually, the window vault now vaulting, but Luba was able to make the distance back, and now we're going to see our first in um, down and I hope she's being hit on that generator with another one popping, too. Ooh, we see a first gen pop. We really need a pin right here, hopefully. And that should mean that middle gym doesn't pop just yet. It just lost about 30% of pressure because of eruption pain rise. And yeah, and that generator does have a lot of progression right there. I don't, was that the one that got hit with it? I, I don't think he got hit. No? I mean, they got pressure on the other gen. I don't think that was hit. Yeah, they, I don't think so either. And now we're seeing the on hook coming. And now Jeffy going to be um, getting, you know, infected no matter what, even if she didn't pick on him. Going to try to get that fully infection, but could not get it. And now Claudette able to block it and allow it. To, and it had sprint burst too, so not a bad play right now. Jeffy's injured. Another 50-50 at the fun bus as a second generator in the background pops. They're going really fast with these gens, putting a lot of pressure on Aluba. Really well played by the survivors down in the plane. They're pretty patient. Really good. Into the seawall pilot. This is kind of good pallet setup, but it'll be weak late game. Yeah, just pre-dropping the pallets now and just, you know, trying to stay alive as long as possible. We do have three complete, uh, uh, you know, infections on survivors, so... And um, the only one that's not injured right now is currently the Laura Freeze. And gonna be pushing up top side now, maybe going towards the right side. We're gonna make it to this window, I think so. And be, yes, they do. Luba unfortunately swings at it, and now we're gonna see our use of the power now. Let's see how they are able to do that. Oh, this so is great. Also, the option kind of play this leaves three gen bottom side, but I don't know if it's really the correct play. I mean, I get what they're going for, but it's just such a wide three gen down here. Right, Losing we'll up. see, we'll see. Oh, and the only Whoa. survivor that's not injured either. Oh, no, not able to get it there either. But we, I think Laura's gonna go down relatively quickly anyways, but any second matters. I agree, but I'm surprised that Sykes empowered in the hitter when she got power. that's crazy. 
Now we will see an, a second down coming in. All survivors are, are currently injured now. We know there's going to be a lot of pressure on the gens. I wonder if that gen was the one Penrez, but no, we also have Shaq. I mean, two generators down here. High progress. Yeah, they're doing a great job of keeping pressure on the generators. That means the other ones are... That are um, they have, dang, that's so much pressure. Oh, my goodness. Let's actually check on the survivors and see. Yeah, we have another one close to popping. It is going to be the one that the killer is by. Yep, and there's another one. And then we see Whoa, Ace. Gun pressure. Yeah, and Ace is going in for the res I mean, the onhook. It's going to be very important that the, uh, Luba gets Pluto down very quick. Pluto playing really immaculate right now and able to do it just long Ooh, enough to where dude, he crouched the oh, power. Yes, awesome, but no pallet there. Are they going to be able to make it back? That's the question. Oh, the greed actually almost worked. That wow. was insane crouch right there. And we, even with this pin, is it just, I don't think it's going to be enough. We have three, all three generators down here. Really high progress. Pin is going to hit any of them and they're still Wait, really I good. Wait, I think they might, will Pluto be able to wiggle out? No, right? Oh, they were! Oh, okay, okay. a little bit early on the stun, but it doesn't really matter, right? That is a very, that's so big. That is, that was really greedy, and it ended up not paying off. This is looking really wow. good. Wow. And with that hill, Jen, it doesn't matter if you're here or if there's a hill. One of these gents will be popping. Wow. We also have a generator all the way up top. This is very unfortunate for Luba. That just had too much Oh my goodness, look at that, Jen was already, what? They doubled it. This is really unfortunate in the situation, honestly. Forcing pull, that means the other subscribers should be getting out. And we know Pluto wasn't hooked because he wiggled out. Yep. It is. There's only gonna be a, it's gonna be a three four. One K five. Yep, one K five. Imagine the blood warden if they were, if that was man. I hope one day we do see a blood warden play. Uh, yeah, actually, um, we did. Uh, we just did literally two days ago uh, bu uh, with uh, Zeno on uh, Bubba and Dead Dog Saloon. He got a blood warden play and actually got value out of it. Oh my! Yeah, it was actually great. But for what sure, a, what a crazy, what a crazy perk! Well. I perk yeah, 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 no, a crazy perk to bring too. But yeah, now it's up to um, the uh, the killer now to, on their team to nostalgia to you know make this happen, which they have an easier win con with a one K five. I mean, a 4K, a th well, a one, yeah, three. I'm all over the place, a 1K5, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but okay, here's the build that we'll be getting set up with that second game, and it's going to be very tough for Ascension to come back from that. Alrighty, welcome back everybody. Now we got Nostalgia on Killer. Pluto gonna be uh, taking it up again for the team. And now it's gonna be um, really hard for Ascension to uh, try to avoid this uh, win con for, like, that, uh, that they have to get. It's gonna be really hard. It can't happen. They're just gonna have to play very, very well and not make much mistakes at all. If Pluto is able to get a lot of pressure, as we can see Steve with the uh, um, no miller. That's actually kind of a, a, a good play. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Spies of the Shadow 2 coming in. What do you think about that? Uh Oh, I want to say personally, no, Miller, I feel like it's such a risky play in this situation because of it being a 1k5, that means just one less person be able to save it in the future. And then also Spice is a really good information perk, especially with a nice 4 gen top side. With this middle, um, Jin kind of, kind of going to be rough for the survivors, he kind of feels like it's... They have to play almost nearly perfect in this situation. Look at the corruption, like, well, there's that, that, that gen's right there, and then... What is this? It's because there's only two gens on the one side of the map, so it just makes it very <laughs> difficult in this situation. Yeah, it actually does, because that's a bad corrupt spawn. And we're seeing the first tag coming through already, more than likely. Oh, and a block, nice. That's so unfortunate. I think we'll see. It. This could be the first down, yeah. Nope, they, I think they're... Uh, it... Mm. Okay, does take the hit. We know they were almost infected. Fully. Laro's playing a very risky game for needing a really safe play style right now. And this is a really bad area to be in, I feel like. Yeah, this is not a, the best pilot to work with. 
Will she be able to make it anywhere else? I don't think so. That's going to be a down. It is very quick down there. We do see a generator popping, which is on, on a plus side for the survivors. But still, nonetheless, they're going to have to be on generators. And right now, I, I don't know. If they're on three different gens, they could pop them and rotate in and, and be careful, maybe. But I don't know, man. It's going to be hard. I don't think, I think that was a double actually, I think they doubled the mid generator because there was only one open, they couldn't work on any of the boss sides, and with Chase being on the left side, there's two generators that couldn't work, so I think we had a double and one on this generator right here. Alright, we'll be interested to see how we continue these chases, already getting that first hook, and now the infection on the Dwight, and now on Whoa. tap two as well, so now everybody's going to be getting injured and infected here. That is a plus for Pluto as we are going straight back to the Laura. And able to make it to the pallet here, but not much to work with afterwards. And depending on it. Oh, wait. Okay. No. Okay. He does leave. Pluto does leave. He leaves because we get spies the shadow. We catch two survivors out here. Unfortunately, I still think you no, know, my might not. I don't know if it's to play because now our C can't really work anything to save. And now fully infected for the, the, the Y and the Laura. Steve being the only survivor not infected, which doesn't matter because he is injured. And um, Detective Tap should be hitting that fully infected state in any time now. But there's Palak on here. This is going to be the hit. death on Dwight. And there we go. Another down. Thinking maybe a head on or something? I don't know. That, that would have been interesting. Okay. Let's see what the survivors... Okay, they do pop another generator. But it's on the boss side, so that generator don't really matter popping because we don't have anything really works on top besides maybe that one generator in the corner over here. And we do see, I want to say it's Tap leaving the chin. Yeah. And he is fully infected. Pre drop on the pallet. This is actually working really well in the kill killer's favor, too. Like, just, and wow. We have to worry about the generators over here on this side. And they're dropping all these pallets, making it weaker. We have a fast pull, and unfortunately, this is what I was talking about with no Mither coming into place. Steve just can't do anything safely, and we do see a, him pretty much trading for it. And only two hook stages left until the Tycon is met, and three until Nostalgia takes the win here. Yeah, it seemed like they wanted to go in the locker and try to force like, um, like a slug and like drop, but obviously Pluto's not even going to do that. He doesn't need to. He only needs to get five stages, right? So obviously Pluto's just going to go in for the, uh, you know, the, the smart play and just get the hook. And Steve's hooked really deep inside of yeah. top side. Pluto has full There's... control of this right now. And he's wasted so many pallets, or he's gotten rid of so many pallets up here, which is really unfortunate for the survivors. Popping the boss size generators right now don't matter because they're not able to really capitalize off of that pressure. Right, exactly. No, 100%. And like you said, all the pallets that have been dropped and stuff, they're going to drop. Another one dropped. They're going to go right back to over to these generators. And yeah, they just make it more and more weak. It's gonna, survivors going to have a very tough time with all these generators being on this side. I think this might be like one of the last pallets on the top side. Yeah, for sure. And now we're going to be breaking the main door, making it even just a little bit weaker than what it is now. Pluto really coming out here and putting up a play, knowing what the win con is and knowing how to keep the survivors from just popping any more gens. For sure. It still has two stacks of pain res that can be easily used as well, too. Playing really respectful in the pallet because he knows he has the time. Oh, no. We see another generator popping, but now they have to figure out a way to get through this three gen. And it's a pretty close three gen with no resources for the survivors to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's not a gen Greg that's like ready to pop yet. They are getting progression on it. But nonetheless, they still have a lot of time to work with and only need three more stages to win. And Aggie here making it. Even just a little bit more difficult for survivors because it's hooked on that gen. And there goes the fourth stage. Has he hooked everybody? I don't know. He hasn't hooked Tap yet. Yeah, he hasn't hooked Tap yet. That's the second hook on them. Um, Steve. I mean Dwight. And now power coming in. Let's see. Ooh, in this situation, you can only really allow Dwight to die in this area. Ooh, almost a nice prediction there from Pluto. I think we might be seeing the death of Dwight here. 
Well, if they can somehow to manage right, they let Dwight die and they can pop the last generator. And then on top of that, um, that you know, because that, that's still the win count. That's only five stages if Dwight dies. Yeah, I agree. But with this power, what they're doing right now is preventing D from being able to work generator while being able to hold cross. Unfortunately, if they try to play for save, they could just get a trade here. And there is a bit of bug with Spice where if somebody's on hook, they oh. will disrupt a crow as well. Okay, the, good call. Good call. I was wondering why the, the killer didn't go over there. Yeah, the Dwight ended up disturbing that crow, not any, uh, not a saver. Okay. And now this is big, this is the chance to see. Let's see. Th this is the big problem I was kind of worried about for a situation like this, to where Steve is now being kind of more hindered than the team really ah! getting anything out of Gnome either because he is one tap and this is gonna be the him just stuck in a really bad position and this is costing the game and we do see Nostalgia taking the win here with this hook. Yeah, incredible plays from Pluto on uh, both sets of the killer. I mean, and same with Ascension too, they, you know, those are great games for both teams but definitely, yeah, you could tell that Pluto did not come to play around at all and that will be, what, the sixth hook now? Yes, that is. Unfortunately, that was the last hook needed for Nostalgia. They played very well. We do know that Lara is on main generator because she instantly got infected. Preventing C from being saved for free. Yeah, which is a smart choice. They do get the save, but it doesn't matter. They will go down. Nice performance, nonetheless. Ooh, C tries to take a body blow, but unfortunately, BT does not last forever, and we will see Steve dying here again. Yep, and this 100% secures it. I think that's before situation. actually, actually, so never mind. I think, I think Steve should have just kind of let Laura play her chase because she can take that hook stage. Right. Now this game has kind of can't become impossible to pop another generator. You see the killer still just kind of playing a slow game, not making any risky moves, but I think we will see the chase on tap. Yep, and I think that is going to be the case here. That was, yeah, Pluto did a great job there. Sure. I'm going to grab the power just to make it even quicker to get these downs. We do know Lars probably on top side dead, and I think Pluto is realizing that. Yeah, she's trying to rotate away now, trying to not get caught by Pluto, but nonetheless, the puking, the amount of puking and stuff is gonna, stop, you know. Uh, not and we see the, and we do see the value of Spice coming through. We see Lara on the cross down, and I think we're gonna be taking this chase just because the game's over. Trying to look for the cross up, I think tap cross early. Lauren sprint burst allowing her to create a, get a lot of distance. Yeah, one hundred percent. Lara playing a very patient game, really well done by her. Yeah, they might be able to pop this last generator. No, I think Pluto's gonna go back. Yeah, they, and they just started. They, yeah, nonetheless, they're just trying to do the best that they can. It does know Tap is up here somewhere because that generator was started. Playing a little fun game of hide and seek. I don't know if you know, but there's a really interesting fact about um, Plague and her pools. If all if the survivors were able to cleanse with every pool on it the map, it. it will give her power, but reset all her pools. So she would lose all, a lot of, or she would lose six um, potential attempts at power. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, yeah, that is good to know.
Yeah, the win con's already been met, but the survivor's still trying to play for the win. I mean, I guess, I mean, for the, like, the best result. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I think it just becomes a... A commitment thing. Some, just gotta commit. Yeah. Just commit to the down. Back off. <laughs> Which I think we will see here. I don't know if she makes shots. It's gonna be really close. And deciding to go back to the...